Welcome to the beginning of the, this is part four. I think this is a big one. We are gonna be tearing down this Ford 302 V8. Uh, we have Bruce's help, but he's working on other stuff because this is a working shop. So here we go. And this, and for this video, I'm not gonna blow the face up. Like, screw it, I don't have time. My face is empty. Yeah, I, know, I noticed you're, uh, I don't know how long you two are gonna keep up the, we're not on camera thing. Yeah, I mean, it's impossible. I mean, anyone who wants to find it can and will, yeah. you know, um, because, you know, our faces have been in it almost as long as the show's been running. Yeah. You just have to know where to look, so. Yeah, it's like someone sitting on the fence close to the spiral. Yeah. It's you, you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just that, like, most people don't want to know. You know or it's, the thing is, yeah, it's not important, but at the same time, you shouldn't kill yourself over making it a thing if it gets that difficult. Right. Well, yeah, there's no point in adding the extra, however many... Oh, Whoa, shit! Whoa. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus! Got oh. I'm glad you waited until I wasn't holding the part. I, I was watching. <laughs> oh. Good thing I'm wearing my shitting pants. <laughs> oh, oh, damn, got me. Oh, it's got that cap gun smell. Yeah, <laughs> Before we get deeper into the engine, we're going to drain any oil that's into it, including taking the oil filter off. There we go. It's reverse. It's clockwise as well. Here comes the gunk. How about I put one of those gloves on? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, because it's going to get all over your fingers. Yeah. You know what? When it gets near the bottom, pull, pick up that tub and hold it near until you get yeah. the flow going. It's already dripping. <laughs> Sludge. I've been constipated for days. Here it comes. Oh. They might splatter a little, little when it gets onto a dribble, though. Yeah. Eh, it's probably degreaser in this place. We drained all the oil out. There was less in there than what we thought. Or at least what we thought for a V8. I was surprised to learn that this uh, Windsor-based V8 has two oil drain plugs, one in the front, one in the back. I'm guessing, and uh, Matt, you can come over to the mic and tell me what you think, like why there's that big cut down there in the bottom of the bottom of the oil pan and we had to have two plugs. Well, probably, it's unknown what it looked like inside the Thunderbird, but there could have been some sort of suspension component, steering component, a frame, brace, something could have run under the engine. And I needed to clear that. Mm -hmm. Oh God! Me and right, whatever, whatever yes. anybody does, don't knock that. Oh, oh. oh got it, got, got it. it, saved it. That's, I mean, uh, the block might be the same, but that oil pan on an older car might have just been a solid flat bottom with one plug. Right. It would have yeah. been neat to see it still in the car, but uh, yeah, you got a deal. It's gonna like, roll down the underside. Ah, uh, there it goes. Or maybe it's drain dry. I don't know. It should have been oozing out of everywhere already. Huh. Oh. All right, then. Tilt, tilt, when you turn it upside down, oil will probably... Well, that thing's pretty dry. All right. You know what? It probably had it had so much time to drain. Right down there. Yeah. It's got that bored housewife consistency. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if this, if this engine had been run like three yeah. hours ago and you went to drain the oil, that thing would be chock full. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bruce says we don't have to take the... the uh, the springs off. We just have to take the heads off and the springs will t stay on there. This is impact gun time. so easy <laughs> yeah we think uh, at one point the uh you see how there's all rust here that the uh the water pump went oh, the, ah! or the uh the uh the blue sludge everywhere yeah to that rust a bit. this is called a lever or a fulcrum <laughs> <laughs> hold the other side of the head just in case well these bolts okay these bolts aren't going anywhere okay got that side you're gonna get the other side loose Okay, there we go. I think it's pretty much ready to come off of there. Okay, they are a little heavy. <laughs> you have to find the picket straight out. There you go. Uh, let's 
get some, uh, can you spread a rag down on the ground here for us, Nick? Yep, sure. It's just, uh, <laughs> get the... <laughs> <laughs> can you put an itty bitty little rag down there, please? And, uh, we'll get another one to mop up the oil. It's coming out of that one. That, well, that oil was from you earlier. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. That's my oil. That's okay. You know, hey, that, that it doesn't hardly count as oh, oil spill. <laughs> okay, there was a tiny bit of oil. Can you put that one upside down? Hey. You think Bruce, does Bruce want to take a look at these heads? Yeah, let's get some... Uh, look at the carbon in this one! Uh, look at all that carbon! This could have been from pulling it off the floor. This could be from pulling it off though. The board looks fairly good though. It's all smooth. I don't know if this is combustion carbon or something, you know, stuff from it just burning gasoline for that long. Or if it's stuff from when we removed the head and just kind of caked around the edge there. Yeah. But uh, I guess this is a non-interference design. Like there's little cutouts here for the valves to mm -hmm. open. Which heads from which side? Yeah. Uh, oh boy. Was this head from here? Which one is the one? We put down this first. You pulled yours off first. And I just dropped it, and then you. And I put. Yeah. This. This is the passenger side. Yeah. All right. Because this is the only one that I have to consume. Like, see the difference in colors? Oh. Hmm. Between the pistons? Or the valves? Well, how it's burning in the chambers. Uh. You see how all of them are real close. Mm -hmm. This one's darker. Hmm. Like antifreeze or oil. That's why I've seen if the head gasket has any tear marks in it. I don't see nothing. Because this piston, they all look like they're burning close. You have to pop the lifters out too yet. Okay. Just unbolt that, pull the tray, take the spiders out, and then lay each one as you take it out. Okay. So, are we using the tray correctly, or do are we putting stuff in the right place? Front. You had this spun around, correct? This says front. Uh huh. And you take, Oops. Whoops. You did it opposite. <laughs> we were putting them in as it was, and merely some of those head bolts might be a little. Uh, well, the head bolts are junk. Okay. Oh, okay. But like this stuff, where was this one? Those ones came out These in order, but here. they're backwards. Yeah. All right, so you're backwards. So I'll just put front up here. Okay, I, have, I have some tape. You blue tape right. or something? Yeah. As long as it's in my camera bag. I'll put RCR front dummies. <laughs> all right. Yeah, they look all right. Next, tear that. We'll pull pistons, see what we're looking at. You can okay. pop the head gaskets all that off. That's Are they just... going to come out as one piece? Yeah, it'll stay. Oh, oh, look at that. That's a lot easier than a motorcycle. Where it just sticks. Yeah. Yeah, they're scraping it. Is this metal? Yeah, it should have a little metal huh. graphite. Nice. You just need to hang this on your wall. Oh boy, the <laughs> landlord will love that. So all this like flecking and stuff, is that that's normal. That's normal? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've never actually done this level, so it's like this is a, yeah, this is interesting. Not bad at all. The only concern I had was with that. It could be valve guide seals. That oil dripped down and it's burning it. We'll check them a little later. First, we'll get it all ripped down. You can get the motor mounts off. Mm -hmm. just, we don't even need them, so you can just... You just unbolt this and it comes out? Should be two bolts straight up. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Oh, yeah. And get okay. the oil pan off, get this tray out, all okay. the lifters. All right. And we'll start popping pistons. Is there a drum that we can dump the oil in? All the way in that back corner. It's a okay. big 275 gallon drum, you'll see. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'll give you a tray for underneath here. So when you pull the pan off, it drips in the tray. It won't go on the floor. Okay. All righty. I got to get into the pipe game when I'm like 40 or something <laughs> like that. If I ever get freaking, you know, railroad guy money, I'm gonna go to. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go to Indiana University of Pennsylvania and just pay my own way to uh, PhD candidacy and become Doctor Regular. Be like, yeah, PhD of, uh, of rhetoric and comp. <laughs> go around. Pomp and circumstance. You guys aren't funny. I'm like, yeah. Well, I'm a goddamn doctor. I would love to see the syllabus for that course. What course? No, of you teaching uh, rhetoric and composition. Your, what, would you, what would your syllabus oh, look like? Oh, that's me taking rhetoric. That's the, no, the that's PhD you, they no, offer. But, later, if you, but if you taught if you rhetoric, became what would regular. Like? <laughs> It'd be a single sheet. It'd be like, ah, show up. It'd be just the word brown 43 times. Nice. 
Week one, brown. These will all pop right out, okay? These, this is a roller cam. I was telling you about the roller. Mm -hmm. That's the difference in lifters. Uh -huh. The roller lifters are not flat. Okay. Oh, so they, they roll over the uh, the, the, the lobes. Yeah. Is that for like a high more high speed? Like they don't less friction. Less friction. You can get higher lift that it doesn't have to hop over. It rolls over nice and easy. They're Good. barely worn. Just yeah. lay them exactly. Just lay them how you've been doing it. Okay. We'll stick these, with the front and back. Matter. These will clean up, but the lifters matter where they come out of. Okay. So these you can just sit wherever. Okay. Well, you you were talking about if we had the chance. I mean. Are roller rockers important? They help also. Okay. We do a lot of our performance stuff. Okay. Less friction also. I wonder if advanced or if I'm going to have to go to somebody else to get a little more. I can check one on. So now we get to move underneath the engine. Oh, and also the engine is free now. Uh, it's very easy to turn. So that's, that's good. I'm just going to sit here and just uh, watch this thing move around in a second. It's fun to see that. Those, uh, we, some junkyard cars, like, you know, had a, Dodge 273 powered coronet that we pulled out of a barn for parts. Yeah. You couldn't with a breaker bar. You'd be and the thing would barely move. Mm -hmm. This these slide easy. I mean, there's just like there's like just residual oh, yeah. oil on it. Yeah. Okay, so Bruce just said we were going about this the hard way. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> I had barfed everywhere with rusty water. It's just like the water in the projects. <laughs> now that we have the uh, bottom off, which is now the top off, which is now the bottom off, uh, we're taking the oil pump and sump off, and then the connecting rods, which I didn't know are all numbered for you on the inside, so you can't mess them up. One, two, that four, be one there. Huh. Oh, and that's for each spot. Right. So this is a two bolt. Two bolt, yep. Was it the more bolts, the more it can take? Yeah, the pressure one. You jump on it, it expands in that. That's why Neil's new uh, Neil's uh, transmission he put in that C3 was a four bolt main. See these connecting rods are all numbered. Yeah. Seven, eight, six. six. So they'll all be in line, so you can pop all them out. I'll show you how to take them out without damaging anything. Okay. Put the oil pump first. first. Yep. You can either take the two bolts here and that, and take the sump out of here, just save the bolts and the two bolts, and pull that off. So it's three bolts in this whole thing, can come, oh, four bolts in this whole thing can come out of here. Right. You would, really, you could take that and those and take the whole assembly. We're oh, wait, get, these two aren't part of that, okay. We're, we're going to get new ones. New oil pump, new sump, okay. and new oil pan gasket. And That's you're going to have an electric fuel pump, I guess. Uh, it doesn't I matter. Can do any which yeah, because this one doesn't have a fuel pump attached. Well, I have a cover in the front here that already knocked out. It'd be right over here. Oh, it would have a spot for the mechanical one. Yeah. Anyway, considering you're using running a carburetor, it might be fine. You only need the was like five psi or something. Yeah, that's more than. Enough. I have a pre-30s car. <laughs> I have airsoft guns. I have an airsoft Tommy gun in the back seat all the time, <laughs> with an old timey photograph that I got taken in Ocean City, New Jersey. And I got the dummy hand that comes sticking out of the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> you there? Fill this car with petroleum distillate and revulcanize my tires <laughs> post haste. No, that's no, main main, 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 main caps connecting rods. Okay, okay connecting rods. Start in the front. And start going back. Okay. Crack them all loose first, and then I'll show you how to tap them out. All right, so basically we uh, found a little uh, heat scoring on the bearings because somebody decided to run this thing on old oil. So, I don't know. Get your oil changed, people. It's not that hard. Loosen them. You're going to tap this with the brass. won't hurt nothing. Just tap it lightly here and here. Mm -hmm. I'll show you with one. Works as well? No, nah, just make sure you spin them back on the yacht. Broke it loose. Okay. Slide this off. Ooh. Bearing's still stuck there. Hold on to that. Slide these over so it don't, when it slides out, it don't damage the walls. So you just push the piston down? Yeah, there's your bearing. Uh, I got some burn marks on it. So this White. is probably replaced? Yeah, we're gonna replace them. Okay. The burn marks are those like scores start along the inside? Yeah, see right in the middle, there's a hot spot. Somebody must have ran low on oil. Oh. See how hot that thing got? Yep. It should slide out of here. And once that's off, just slide that back 
one. See how it's numbered one? Put the bearing back into that one. Does this have to be in a certain... Yep, if you look, turn this. See there's a groove? And there's a tab. There's a groove. Got it. So lock it in. Just Come on, baby. Push and then push, yep. Now line that up with one and one. Only one side, that side's numbered right yep. there. Yep, one. And so just start the nuts. That's all you gotta do. And then we'll look at the crank later. Just, you can set them on the ground. They all okay. gotta get clean. They're gonna go in the cooker. Got it. it don't matter if there's dirt on them or not. We're gonna cook the whole block. Cool. There's that, oh. there's that. All right. Nice. All right. And then after you get all of them, then we'll have to get the front cover off. Then we'll pull the mains and the whole crank can come out. Mm -hmm. We got to take the chain. Oh, this cover in the chain, yeah. yeah. I have the puller for that. <coughs> yeah, that's the harmonic balancer. That's balanced to usually the flywheel or flex plate. Nice. Okay. Well, start. Okay. So make sure you don't like mix stuff. That's that's what those covers are for as it's sliding out. Don't bang off the cylinder walls here and put grooves in them. Got it. So you just literally just tap just here? Just lightly, right on the bolt. So that, nice. Oh, and it, separ it separates. Yep. Okay. Okay. I've never you had know, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be trying to hold on to bolts while pulling that. Here, I can hold some things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Here. Thank you. Sure. So this is this is the part you replace, and the, yep. the rest of it can... That, it's it, fine. It's there as long as it, if it spun a bearing... And you usually gotta resize them and everything. Usually the rods jump down. Oh, spun, which is where that just spins out. Yeah, it oh. seizes fast to the crank and it just goes around. And in just there and just eating it. Yep. It becomes like sandpaper. Yep. Huh. These are phrases I've heard before. I've never seen what it does or means. Now you just gotta slide mm -hmm. the covers on. I can you take that? Yeah, sure. You guys in cart. My little cart and then you can sit all the tools on it. Thank you. With all the con rods out, we can now take the harmonic, or harmonic balancer out. And by we, I mean Bruce. But So thank you, Bruce, for doing this, because I know this is something that we would probably screw up. But it's interesting to see how small a Windsor block really is and how much it was the LS engine of its day, because it was small enough to put in lots of different things. That's why the seal is cheap. It's yeah. the labor involved, yeah. <laughs> I gotta mic it all, see if they're worn bad. If you look in there at all the bearings, see how the copper's showing on them. Ooh. They got hot, hot. You see it going all the way back through. You just set that over there. Yep. So now it's time to uh, time to clean everything up here and uh, put a little. Uh, uh, bits of tape on the uh, cylinder heads so we can say left and right heads as far as the springs goes on those things where uh, Bruce is going to deal with that at the later step but now we have the engine all the way down all the way down to the block uh, save the freeze plugs and we have to we have to organize uh, all our uh, gosh what are they called the main holder in thingies for the crank crank holder in things that are shaped like the letter U I don't know. I need another zone bar or something like this today. Well, that's it. The shop is quiet now. And the Vagabond Falcon's new V8, new old V8, is all the way down to the block now. Save the freeze plugs and everything else. So uh, the next step is to go down there and do the heads, get the springs out of there, and uh, measure that everything's true or what sort of damage if any was really done to the cam or the crank because at some point in this engine's history it was either run low on oil or the oil was just run dirty 